Many great people are very lonely. It is very lonely at the top. Is the reason why with all due respect, you see many great people doing crazy things. They are on drugs. They take drugs. They take all kinds of things because of sheer loneliness. They are at a point where everybody is celebrating them. They have all the money. They have all the fame. They have everything, but they don't trust anybody. They don't trust anybody. And so you see that their best friend is their cat. Or their best friend is, is their rabbit. Or whatever it is, whatever. They keep it there and they can even will their inheritance to the rabbit. Because in their mind, is more trusted. If you do not have... <laughs> excuse me if you do not have good people in your life believe me you are in trouble don't just celebrate money in your account you must pray and say god in my lifetime give me the opportunity of tasting of a godly the gift of a godly and a faithful friend ecclesiastes 4 two are better than one because they have a good reward for their labor 10 for if they fall watch this one will lift up his fellow that is the, the purpose of godly people to help you these are people you can cry to you know i've always i've always given you this charge is there someone in your life today who can pay any price to see that you love is there someone in your life today that if you call the person and say listen I'm about to be taken to the police station. The person will say, where are you? I'm coming with you. Not, anyway, keep me posted. Um, if they do arrest you, I will find out. If I call you and it's not, you don't pick, I know you are in prison. I will be praying. Can I tell you? You have met people who broke your heart. But don't conclude on that. There are people who will stand with you. There are people who will cry with you. Some of you have already been fortunate to find those people. Can I advise you? Swallow your pride and keep them. Don't ever open your mouth and say, I don't need you. Then you say, sorry, later on. Swallow your pride and keep them. Because when you find godly and faithful friends, they are like gold. Don't throw it away. You may not find it again in your lifetime. Believe me. Believe me. Great people are lonely at the top because they do not have anybody to talk to they are afraid of talking to everybody because they are billionaires they don't know who and you see because we are beings of expression we are beings of emotion one of the way they punish prisoners some of the world's you know most notorious prisoners is to take them to a place where they incarcerate them and they have no they are not in touch with anybody imagine being in a place you don't know whether it's morning you don't know whether it's night you don't see trees you don't see plants you don't see seas you don't see nobody you are left alone and those bold people who can kill people they begin to cry after days and weeks like children because nobody was designed to stay in isolation some of you today are giving up quality relationships because you are looking for money quality relationships god brought the gift of faithful people to your life but you are throwing them away because the only person you are looking for is the person who can solve your problem you will rise to the top and find out that it's a lonely place full of deceivers the top is full of interest everybody there is looking for something or trying to protect something there are few people in your life who will love you as you are they will see your nonsense and still love you the way you are when you find such people hear this advice coming from someone who loves you protect them swallow your pride and protect them at all cost there are people today who can carry their salary and give you and say if this will bring joy to your face i will do it there are people today who will sit down and cry with you as a preacher there are people today who want to know how is the man doing not the man of god how is the man doing i know the man of god is doing well but how is the man doing our world is full of people who just want to take most people when they come to great men they take in house we say have you heard those kind of things aha uh -huh. 
they come to you wanting to pray on everything they can find may god give you so that you will get from it too so most great people are already wounded they suspect everybody the moment you come and say good afternoon sir what are you looking for it is strange to them to care for them to the point that they are not even interested why are you here uh, that my rent again or your take go I, I knew that's why you came why else are you here oh demons have been oppressing me okay father let the demons go away with all due respect to him of blessed memory the man called a a allen i will not say much because i'm speaking on air the latter part of his life there were certain things that were not the best expression of finishing strong and that happened in his life credited to loneliness great people can be lonely it is it is very lonely at the top i tell you is the reason why you find out that great men can become so silly little children can become their best friends they throw away people they can leave somebody to be waiting for hours wanting to see the ceo and the man is playing with his grandson and laughing and you are wondering what is this grandson doing to this man it is because there, there was always a child in him he caged that child to become a champion and now that he's a champion that child is still crying for expression unfortunately everybody there is looking for a great man there's nobody to relate with the child so when he finds a child like him he can now sit on the ground and now play you watch some of these guys in the middle east watch how most of them spend their money they climb camels and they run around and return back with dust in their body these are millionaires and billionaires and you are saying this is all you do with your money to play around with camels and animals no there was something they gave up to be great and now when they became great since they could not find solace in men they resort to animals among the many things that becomes a blessing to you ladies and gentlemen is the gift of good people there are people today who would not have died if they had good people in their life someone to pray with you someone to cry with you the person can say i don't have all the money but this one tuba of yam i have let's eat it together and give god thanks i am telling you again you may not have too many of these people in your life but if one ever comes around your life look for a psychological treasure chest and put them inside and protect them throw away your pride and protect them are we learning <laughs> like i said yesterday there are some of you who are too innocent to understand what i'm saying you will make reference to this message by next year when certain results would have manifested in your life you will sit down in your office and be crying alone and clean your tears when your workers want to enter sir just to tell you the mail has come and at a point you want to say go away let the money go away have you ever wondered why wealthy people hang themselves does it make sense at least the person would have given you the money bar before dying how does someone who have everything in his life made one day you will see them write a letter and just hang themselves and die what were they looking for that money could not give them what were they looking for that fame could not give them even in the secular there are celebrities today who are struggling with mental health and depression they have everything life can offer their homes are littered with awards. Many of them get into drugs. They get into all kinds of unfathomable practices because of that cry for expression. I'm praying for you. I'm praying for you. Koinonia, I'm praying for you. That if there is anyone here, you do not have a sincere person you can call a friend. I'm praying for you. I don't know how God will do it all. But I'm praying for one preacher. I'm praying for one mother. I'm praying for one businessman. I'm praying for someone who has been wounded from childhood till adulthood. May my God, beginning from tonight, may my God bring good people to your life. For someone watching from America, you're watching from, from Europe, you're watching from across Africa. You are saying, Apostle, you just spoke about me. I need the gift of good people. 
May my God answer your prayer. And for some of you who based on carelessness, you threw away some of the best gifts God gave you. I'm praying, I'm praying for you again. Some of you threw away, God carried treasures and gave you. But you threw them away. Good friends, good people. Some of them it was even your parents. Some of them it was even your spouse. And today they are no more. And you are living in regret. Saying, if I knew how important this person was. They loved you whether you had money or not. They believed in you whether you were famous or not. These are people who can come and enter the prison and say, go out, I will stay. I am telling you again, if God ever brings such people to your life, please open your eyes, receive them with sincerity and let them know. I've taught you how to maintain relationships. If you cannot contribute value, contribute gratitude. If you cannot contribute value, contribute gratitude. Hallelujah. There are great people here listening to me. They know what I'm saying. When you are up there, it is a lonely path. You can be married and still be lonely. There are things with all due respect that even your spouse will not understand. It's a peculiar situation that is based on where God has kept you. You will need the gift of friends. Most of us have money. Money cannot talk. Money cannot say I love you. Money cannot say I'm praying for you. Money cannot say I will be there with you. Jesus said there is a friend that sticketh. I mean the Bible says there is a friend that sticketh closer than a brother. And let me give this one counsel and then we pray. Never be the reason for somebody else's pain. That is not a ministry God gave anybody. Did you hear what I said? Never be the reason for anybody's pain. Do not be the reason for the downfall of any man of God. Do not be the reason for the crying of anybody. It is a wicked way to live. Don't be the reason why a family is in tears and pain. Don't be the reason why you join the heads of two friends and stand behind and laugh. No. We are called to be binders. We are called to be peacemakers. There are people who are in church. The problems in many churches ferment from gossip and the bad ministry of people. There are people when they show up anywhere, it is trouble. Did you hear what this one said? Did you hear what in this company? Ha, look, oh, I know that I'm the one who knows. Be careful because you are bringing a curse on yourself. There are people today who are the reason behind the trouble of spouses. Oh, have you had this? I had your husband said this. I had your wife said this. They join their heads and they stand and they're smiling. There are people today who are the reason behind the pain of good friends. There are people today who are the reasons why preachers cannot see eyeball to eyeball. They come here, they say, yes, sir. They get information here. They go there and say, yes, sir. They give information. You see, there is God is a God of justice and judgment. Oh, you, I hear that you want to help this lady. Please, oh, let me give you an advice. This lady, don't help this lady, oh. I know that her mother is a widow, but we heard that this lady used to be a bad girl before. But have you found out whether she has repented? And the man says, really? Ah, that's it. She comes by the next day and comes with the same friend gossiping about her. And the man says, go away. And the friend said, don't worry. All things work together. Ah, I pray for you. If there is anyone in your life who is causing you pain and then standing by you, may God take them out of your life. May my God take them out of your life. Take deceivers out of your life. Take wicked people out of your life. Ichabod. When the glory departs from men, it is because of this. Pride. When the glory departs from men, it is because of this. An arrival mentality. When the glory departs from men, it is because of distractions and compromises. Not staying in your area of grace, being a busybody everywhere, and not protecting.
protecting your focus and your call when the glory dis departs from men it is because they have violated their covenant their winning strategy with God what God gave them or the secrets that were behind the mysterious results complacency or anything in between made them to compromise on it number five when the glory departs from men it is because of their weaknesses and vulnerabilities they shrugged it away and carried a false sense of holiness and just felt i am all right just because you are not in trouble yet number six the greatest of all reasons when the glory departs from men it is because their passion and their fire for god even if you are a preacher you can write books on fire and not have fire you can hold conferences on fire and not have fire just because your message had fire yesterday does not mean it has fire now rise up on your feet king